Bob Daly. I am uh, here to uh, take Bruce, Bruce's place, who is out training this week, and I'm going to be talking to you about EMD engines. Today we will be uh, talking about EMD 710 engines and EMD 645 engines, engine orientation for EMDs, and also EMD locomotive types. This is a EMD 710 engine. Uh, they're turbocharged. Also, the 710 engine has 710 cubic inches per cylinder, and that is bigger than two 350 engines per cylinder. Uh, they're available in several different uh, cylinder arrangements, and they are in a V-type design. 22 and a half degrees from the engine center, which is a like a V45. And they're a two-stroke engine, and the cylinder bore diameter is 9 and 1 16th inch. The stroke is 11 inches long, mechanical unit injection, or MUI, or we have electronic injection, which is EUI. They're a welded crankcase not a one-piece block which makes them much lighter and there's four uh, engine lube oil systems which is the main lube oil system we have a piston cooling scavenging oil system and the soak back which takes care of our pre-turbo and cool down uh, for the turbo as well the engine over speed protection for mechanical uh, and we also have electronic or electrical type for the later models. Uh, dual water pumps for the conventional cooling for governor type units or split cooling when it went to the EUI's electronic injection units. The rear engine components uh, consist of the turbocharger, the air ducts that supplies air to the intake air manifolds, the after coolers which cools the air to the air manifolds, and the flywheel and we also have the starters which engage with the flywheels for starting and auxiliary generator drive which takes care of a lot of our auxiliary electrical devices. Uh, we also have the lube oil separator system which takes care of our crankcase ventilation. Okay, here we have the uh, turbocharger which has the air ducts which go through the after coolers to supply air for the combustion of your intake. We have our flywheel here with our starters engaging to the flywheel for starting. We have the auxiliary drive here, which takes care of, which is further back off the picture that we don't see in this picture here, but the drive mechanism that drives off the turbo to supply, to turn a generator. Uh, on the other side, we have the oil separator system, which is uh, connected down to the crankcase for ventilation and oil, uh, taking care of the oil that is trying to be sucked out the exhaust that's creating the uh, vacuum. Okay, so the, on the front engine components we have the governor or we have electronic uh, control modules or ECM. The water pumps, we have conventional flow uh, on the earlier models uh, for the MUI type or the split cooling system on the uh, electronic type. Oil pumps, we have the scavenging, uh, which draws oil out of the pan and uh, goes through some filtration, and then main lube oil picks it up, or piston cooling for engine cooling and lubrication. Safety devices, we have overspeed, engine protection devices, EPDs, uh, lube oil strainer housing, uh, fuel return manifolds with sight glass for the governor type, or electrical which have no sight glass and they have just the uh, sensors or EUI. Uh, note on the soak back pump is mounted at the bottom right side of the engine as shown in the picture built by Electromotive Division. Okay on on here we have the uh, governor this is a mechanical type engine uh, this is a roots blown it is not a turbocharged but the pumps and all the front end of the engine are very similar on a mechanical type. So here we have the uh, governor here, we have the overspeed housing, we have the fuel manifold, 
with the return sight glasses right on top. This is our secondary fuel system. We have our water pumps, one for the right side of the engine, one for the left side of the engine. We have our lube oil strainer housing, which takes care of some of our oil filtration. Uh, main lube oil pumps right in the center. Uh, scavenging oil pump is actually down below on the other side of the lube oil strainer housing. Uh, differences between a 710 and 645 engines, as you see in red here, these are the differences. Uh, roots blowers, uh, two each, uh, also known as superchargers. Uh, there's 600 few, 645 cubic inches per cylinder. Uh, they're available in several different cylinder arrangements. We have a V engine design, both of them have a V45 or two, 22 and a half degrees from center line. Uh, both are two stroke engines. Uh, both are uh, cylinder bores are both nine and one sixteenth. The stroke on this one is uh, 10 inches. Uh, this is a mechanical unit injection or MUI. We have a welded crankcase, which both of them have. It's not a one piece and basically they're much lighter. Uh, three engine lube oil systems, still got the main, uh, piston and cooling and scavenging. But as you notice, we don't have the soak back system. Okay, engine overspeed is protection is mechanical. On the other type could be mechanical or electronic. Uh, dual water pumps, uh, this one has conventional water cooling. Okay, on the rear engine components, we have roots blowers, which are also known as superchargers, auxiliary generator drive, the crankcase breather, we have the roots blown air ducts, the flywheel, and starters. The front of the engine components, we have the governor, water pumps, which are conventional flow, and three oil pumps, just the scavenging, the main lube oil, and piston cooling. Uh, safety devices, we have hot oil devices, which detect for hot oil detection, overspeed for too fast of RPMs on the engine, engine protection devices, or EPDs. On, on, on those uh, engine protections, which uh, covers our crankcase ventilation uh, or overpressures, and also for um, low oil pressures and low water pressures. Uh, lube oil strainer housings uh, is part of our filtration system and the fuel return manifold with the sight glasses and all are built by Electromotive Division. This is the orientation of our unit. So, as you might have seen in some of our previous videos that Bruce did about orientation of a locomotive, where the F was located at the front of the locomotive, if this is your front, and, you, and it doesn't matter on body style, so it depends on where that F is located, that would be the front of the locomotive. Now the engine is installed backwards in the locomotive. So the front is actually at the back of the locomotive, the front of the engine. This is where all your water pumps would be, your governor if it was equipped, your uh, oil pumps, overspeed housing, and so forth. Back here you would either have your roots blowers or your turbochargers and also your main generator. So easy way to remember how to get your head wrapped around this is that if you were sitting facing the engine on the generator, your right side would be on your right and your left would be on your left. So if you count from your right from the front, the front of the engine, counting back, you would just number one through eight and then you start back at the front again, nine through 16. We also have uh, EMD locomotive types. So there are many different types of EMD locomotives. The first two letters of locomotive described in the type of the locomotive, serv locomotive service that, is, that it is, is listed by the amp examples below. SD stands for a special duty. 
Uh, GP stands for general purpose. Uh, MP stands for multiple purpose. And SW for switcher. The third and the fourth numbers designated the model number of the locomotive. One being 90 and 90 max, MACs. 80s, 70s, and 70 aces. 60s, 50s, 40s, 9 and 7. Now sometimes there's a special designation at the end of those groups such as a dash 1 or dash 2 which has to do with the types of enhanced electronics. So here's let's let's look at a few examples. We have the SD90 Mac. So the SD stands for special duty, the 90 for the model number and M stands for North American cab, the AC for alternating current. That's for the traction motor type. The SD70 Aces we have the SD for special duty, the 70 for the model number, and the AC for alternating current. The E stands for enhanced electronics. And the SD40 2s, being that the SD stands for special duty, the 40 for the number type, and the dash 2 for the enhanced type of electronics. The SD9s is the SD is just a special duty. 9 for the model number. And the SD7s, likewise, special duty, 7 for the model number. And then we have the GP38-2s, so the GP for the general purpose, the 38 for the model number, and the dash 2 for the enhanced electronics. Then we have the GP30, or 30s, which the GP is for general purpose, the 30 is for the model number. And the MP15s is for multiple purpose, and the 15 for the model number. And the SW15s, SW for the switchers, and the 15 for the model number. Thank you very much. Uh, tune in next week. Uh, Bruce will be talking about the EMD crankcase, and come and visit us on lst-ca.com. Thank you.